Hello everyone, welcome back to Humble Acres. My name is Jordan. My son Cooper is here with me today again. And we are going to be cleaning up the river a little bit. You can see down here, um, there's some metal cages down there. Apparently those are mink cages. And yeah, my uh, wife's grandfather just threw them kind of in the river, more or less on the shore. And over time, they've kind of eroded and kind of fallen into the river. So we need to get that out of there. We also need to get these sticks and logs and everything out of here. You can see over this way, we got quite a bit more back over here. So we have to do this at least once a year. We just got to clean it up so it doesn't get blocked and erode the other side like it's done before. So... Slowly, we're filling this back in. I've been dumping some uh, concrete in here to fill this back in, so hopefully at some point we can get across this again, but it takes a lot of material to fill this back in, so hopefully we can get this rock in here, or brick, or concrete, or whatever, and then we can put a nice layer of dirt over the top and make it look nice again. Kind of rejuvenate the uh, river bank a little bit, but... For now, this is our priority, getting all these logs in this cage out of here. So I think we're gonna start with just trying to pull some of these logs out here, and then hopefully we'll be able to reach the cage back there. I might have to go get some longer ropes or chains or something, but we'll just start with the logs and then work our way over there. Try that. I don't like that I don't have a, another hook on that, but not really a way around that. So let's give that a shot, see if we can get that out of here. It's gonna be tricky to get out of here. hurt a little bit. Alright, see if we can lift that out of there.
came out pretty good. Uh, I was thinking I could probably just lift this one up, but eh, might be able to. Yeah. Got it. A little heavy. All right. I'll take this one over there. What's the next one? Probably just this one over here. We might be able to get both of those at once. That'd be good. All right. I went and got my waders on so I can just walk down there easier. I was also able to find another hook for the other end of my chain too, so that's good. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? deep right here actually kind of crazy I also didn't realize it was this deep right here I knew it was deep over there you know maybe we should try to just clear some of these branches by hand because they're not very big Pretty heavy. Probably leave that one. Lots of little ones. Those are easy. As long as you stay on top of this, it doesn't get that bad. The biggest problem I had was it was let go for like 10 years. So it was just completely plugged. Some back in there too, we should probably get. This one's completely free. Probably just lift it up. Be nice if we could get more than one on here at a time. See well, how many times I have to go up and down. I just have my chainsaw, I just cut this one off. Leave it. You were man. Did I? Yeah, you kind of man. You man the black and the water. Oh, good. And you man one boy in the water. Yeah? Awesome. And that's fun to walk in the water. Alright. I suppose that will probably work. Oh, that's part of that one. Okay. Ideally, this would be on the other side of that then. Alright. 
I guess let's get this one pulled out of here and then we'll go back there and clear that. Let's see what we have back here. So this bridge actually used to just be all wood planks, but my uh, wife's grandfather was the owner of this property. And every time it flooded, he was sick of having to go fish all the boards down from down river and bring them back. So there's some like steel I-beams and stuff under here and he just these are the wood planks that were originally on here, but then he just poured concrete right over the top of them. So, yeah. It would have been way better if he would have just made a wet crossing, because then nothing would get caught up on, or very little, and it would just flow right over the top. Someday, it would be nice to do that, but probably will never happen. <laughs> this is deep here. What's up, bud? One of the has a metal in it. Yep, it's reinforcement. Alright, let's try to get these back a little bit. Good, buddy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trying not to trip. This, the base of this river is very uneven. So, another problem with why stuff gets caught in here is it sinks down really low here, but then it just, it's all rock. And all the rocks just come back up. You can see they're all sticking out up there, but it's super low here. So, not much I'm gonna be able to do about that, but it's fine. We'll clean up as much as we can, and then when it floods, it'll push the rest down river. We just gotta keep it from getting stuck here. Like these would probably be fine. They would eventually flow down river, but it also could just help clog everything up too. So it's best just to get rid of it. Yeah, like that one's pretty big. That one probably would have gotten clogged. All right. I think this side's done. Let's 
go to the other side. So over here is not too bad. No, it's way shallower. And the bottom's all brick, so that helps things just fly through here. I wish the other side was like this, because yeah, things would just wouldn't get stuck then. Alright. Okay. All right, that's pretty much good. So we really just need to deal with this mess here. We need to get these pulled out. They're kind of stuck in there. Get the cage and that, and then that should be good enough. Um, should probably try to pull these out first, I suppose. Hopefully we can pull them out. See what we can do. Well, that didn't work. Apparently that's the whole tree, so. Uh -huh. I'm gonna just hook onto the cage and see if we can pull that out first and then we'll go for the log. I suppose I could probably just hook on this log and see if it'd come out with it. Cause it's underneath yep. it pretty good. It's actually through it. Oh, no. No, my Maybe I'll do this.
All right, well that worked really well to get this out of there. Went way better than expected. This tree grew up through this cage though. So I'm gonna cut it with the chainsaw on one side so we can pull it out of there. And then I'll go put the cage on the scrap pile and the log will go over with the other logs over there. So let's get it done. <laughs> All right, let's get a better grab on this and take it to the scrap pile. All of it. Oh, man. There you go. That's not going to hang. Yeah.
We dropped one. I knew the things were going to fall off of it. Oh, that's barely on there, too. Got it. Alright, hopefully that's all. Alright. All right, well, we got this cleaned up pretty good. There are still a couple of little ones down there, but we got all the big ones that were blocking all that. And the cage is out of there, and that would have definitely uh, blocked quite a bit of stuff. So it's been a fairly dry year this year, but it hasn't been as dry as some of the years in the past because we've had, we've lived here for five years now, and three of those five years, this river has gone completely dry. And this year it didn't, surprisingly enough, considering most of the country has had droughts and stuff this year. I guess some places have had lots of flooding too, so. I don't know. It's been probably a fairly average year for us, honestly, so. I think that's going to be it for this video. The video I was playing for this week just wasn't going to make it because parts I ordered were going to be late and it was just going to be a nightmare trying to figure out how to get it done, so. Decide just to wait for next week for that one, hopefully. So, yep. So that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.